pandas set index. So say you have your index of your data frame and you want to turn it into something else. Sometimes you want to take a column of your data frame and actually put that into your index. Other times you just want to make up your own index and get put out in your data frame in the first place. Either way, pandas set index is how you're going to be doing that. Let's take a look at it. So first thing that we will do is we will import pandas as PD. Oops, import pandas as PD to get pandas in here. And the next thing we're going to do is we will create a data frame. And I'm going to create a data frame from scratch here, which is actually going to be a list of restaurants in San Francisco. So I have three columns and I have four rows in this data frame. Now say that I want to take this name column and have that become the index. Well, what I could do here is I'm actually going to call set index on my data frame and pass it the column name that I want to become the new index. And in this case, I want name to become the new index. So I'll put name in here. After we run this, you'll see that the name column has been dropped from our regular data frame and it's been inserted as the new index. So now I have four new index labels, which is the restaurant names in San Francisco. Okay. Now say instead of an existing column on your data set, you want your new index to be something you just make up in the first place. So in order to do that, instead of passing a single column name, you can actually pass it a, um, a collection of objects or a collection of values. So I'll call set index one more time. And in this case, I'm actually going to pass it a pandas series with four values here. So I'm going to call it my res one, my res two, my res three and four. Now you need to be careful here because you cannot actually pass a list or else you're going to get, uh, get an error. So first let's take a look at this, what this looks like and then see what happens when you pass the list. After I run this, you can see that now my new index is going to be the four values that I passed. So just to show you, if I tried passing a list right here with just a vanilla list, I'm going to, I'm going to get an error says that none of these are in the columns and it makes sense. Okay. So let me take that back and let me rerun this. Great. So now what I want to do is I want to show you, you can actually pass it. Um, you can pass it a, a column of your data frame or a collection of items that you've outlined here custom. And what's really interesting is you can actually set uh, append equals true. So append is going to be a parameter of set index. And if you do this, it's going to take whatever values you give it and append it to the index, meaning it's not going to get rid of the old one. It's only going to add to it. So let's take a look at what that looks like right here. And what actually happens is you get a multi index. So I'll say append equals true. And with that, we'll run that. You'll see here that not only do we have our old index zero through three, but we also have the new index that we just outlined right here with our four values. So I don't use this one too often, but in case you want to create a multi index, this is how you do it. And that is pandas set index.